May, May, Mr. O'Connor, Minister. May, Mr. O'Connor. Thank you very much. Tom Neville and uh, Tim Daly. Here, right. Right. Thank you. So I am sharing time, as you say. I am pleased that Budget 2019 has really delivered for higher education. And on Budget Day, I announced three different funding streams. streams. One capital funding stream, then the current core funding stream, and a new funding stream called the Human Capital uh, Initiative Stream. So, across the current and capital spending, new programmes and initiatives will make a major difference to our third level landscape. I'm particularly enthusiastic about the new multi annual Human Capital Initiative Scheme. It will be a transformative development for the third level sector. So from January 2020, which is exactly 14 months away, the HCI will be set up to invest €300 million Euro over the period 2020 to 2024. This ring-fenced allocation of €60 million Euro each year will be a key part of the, com of the government's strategic response to Brexit and other challenges facing the economy. The HCI will be funded from the surplus in the National Training Fund and has been made possible by the reform of the fund. The initiative will ensure that our higher education institutions can meet the skill needs of our growing and rapidly changing economy. It will mitigate Brexit risks, boost regional development and realise the objectives of Project Ireland 2040 and our Future Jobs programme. Now that our economy is approaching full employment, we need to be planning for the jobs of the future, jobs that will be crucial in 20 years' time. There are challenges that I am confident that our higher education institutions will rise to, and I am pleased that the initiative has been so warmly welcomed by the Technological Higher Education Association. Budget 2019 also provides an additional 57.4 million for new measures in current spending. This is in addition to the separate allocation of 41 million with, that is being made for pay restor restoration and pension costs. Excluding the latter two items, this means that current spending on higher education has risen by 10% since 2016. We will create places for about 3,500 3, new students extra. We will also continue to move forward on the reforms to the higher education funding allocation model. We'll provide €10 million Euro for innovation and performance funds and €5 million for building teaching and learning capacity. There will be €5 million in the new research and innovation fund for institutes of technology. There will be an enhancement and a strengthening of services around mental health and counselling, as well as an action plan for safer campuses. Overall, higher education current expenditure will be 1.76 billion in 2019. And turning to the capital side, we plan to spend 138 million in 2019 compared to 70.6 million in 2018. That's almost twice as much. We will spend 532 million over the next five years. And the key projects that we've announced recently they include the STEM facilities in Dundalk IT, a new engineering building from Limerick IT, upgrades to the GMIT Castlebar campus, a future tech building at DCU, and a new sports, science, health and recreation building at IT Tala. More will follow. Project Ireland 2040 provides for a near trebling of the higher education capital budget compared to the past decade from 0.8 billion to 2.2 billion. Budget 2019 current and capital 
is hugely significant for higher education. It turns the corner in restoring our institutions onto a strong footing to meet the needs of our economy and society. I've listened carefully to the many voices in the sector. I've met the presidents of all the institutions. I've visited the campuses and seen the facilities. I've spoken to the stakeholders and the students. I know what's needed and I am pleased that after a difficult decade, we're now delivering. In conclusion, I want to acknowledge that our investment in higher education is based on resources provided by the Irish taxpayer. And then my, as Minister, my focus is on the one key person, and that's the student. I'm determined that next year and beyond, our taxpayers, parents and citizens will see value for money and excellent outcomes from the students at our third level institutions and we will all benefit. Gauramila Mahagiv.